Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. It's right down this way. Okay. We're in apartment 26. Oh, good. We're practically neighbors then. My wife and I are in 23. Oh, good. My name is David Nelson. Oh, hi. I'm Betty Harris. Here we are. I can take those things now. You sure you can manage them? Oh, yes. And thank you so much, Mr. Nelson. I don't know what I would have done without you. That's okay. I used to be a Boy Scout. I think you've got my briefcase here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have a good day? Yeah, pretty good. And you? Fine. We have some new neighbors. Yeah, I rode up on the elevator with one of them, the daughter. Oh, really? I met Mrs. Harris. She seems awfully nice. What's the daughter like? Oh, uh, you haven't met her? Not yet. Well, I don't want to worry you, but uh, I'd say she's definitely the seductive type. You know, kind of slinky and sexy in a sophisticated way. And you say she's a 14 or 15? <laughs> I thought you said you hadn't met her. I saw a picture of her. Besides, if she were all the things you said, you never would have mentioned it. Well, I must admit you got a point there. Are you hungry? I sure am. Good. Dinner's just about ready. Boy, something smells good. Can you help? No, this thing's under control. Oh, okay. Well, hi, Betty. Come on in. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. I hate to bother you, but I wonder if you've got a hammer we could borrow. Sure. Uh, honey, uh, this is my wife, June. This is Betty Harris. Hi, Betty. Hi, how are you? Uh, she wants to borrow a hammer. I'll get it for you. Well, are you getting all settled? Oh, yes, thanks. It sure is a mess, though. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. Say, would you and your mother like to have dinner with us? We have plenty. Oh, no, thank you. That's very nice of you, but we've just finished dinner. Here it is. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nelson. Careful of your fingers now. Oh, I will. I'm very happy to have met you, Mrs. Nelson. Thank you. If you need anything else, just let us know. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Do you think we ought to go over there and see if we can help him with anything? What do you mean? Well, she borrowed a hammer, so they're probably hanging pictures. Okay, we'll go over there so you can sit and have a nice chat while I hang the pictures. Okay. Uh, after dinner, honey. <laughs> my husband, Dave. Hi, Dave. How do you do? Say, I want to thank you for rescuing my daughter this evening. Oh, that's all right. We thought maybe you could use a little help. Oh, well, I don't know. That's very thoughtful of you. Betty's just hanging some pictures. Ouch! <laughs> maybe we could use a little help. Oh, hi. 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 We thought maybe we could give you a hand. <laughs> Actually, I just need a thumb. And can I help you with that? Oh, thank you. Okay, well, Dave can help hang the pictures. What can I do? Well, I was just going to unpack some dishes. Fine, let's go. Oh, where do you want this now? Oh, um, right about there. Okay. Uh, you better move your finger. I'm not too good at this myself. <laughs> that was perfect. You're a wonderful picture hanger. <laughs> not actually. I just got lucky this time. <laughs> You're just being modest. Oh, let's see how the picture looks. Darn. I broke my nail. Oh, uh, maybe you better put a bandage on it. Oh, are you a doctor? No, I I'm a lawyer. Really? I mean, do you defend people in court and all that sort of thing? Well, uh, every once in a while. Oh, that must be wonderful. Do you make a lot of money? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Uh, uh, how's the picture look? Perfect. Well, don't you have any briefs or anything to be studying tonight? Uh, no, not tonight. <sighs> I bet you smoke a pipe, too. <laughs> Well, every once in a while. I knew it. I can just see you smoking your pipe and studying the briefs on some exciting murder case. Well, the case I'm working on right now has to do with a tax litigation for a plastics company. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, how are you doing out here? Oh, fine, thank you. Yeah, I've managed to hang a picture. Oh, and he did it beautifully. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Where's the next one go? Oh, right over here. 
They're nice people, aren't they? Yeah, they sure are. How's your thumb? <laughs> oh, it's okay. She was just trying to help. It's like you've got quite an mind there. What do you mean? Come on, you know what I mean. Betty, she can hardly keep her eyes off you. Oh, you must be kidding. You know I'm not. I can't say as I blame her. I can understand her having a crush on you. As a matter of fact, I think you're very attractive. Well, thank you very much. Considering you're an old married man. Well, you're not bad yourself, considering you're... Never mind. Anyway, I think you're imagining things. I wonder who that can be. Well, there's one way to find out. Well, hi, Betty. Oh, hi. You forgot the hammer. Oh, well, that's okay. You finished with it? Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, we may need it tomorrow. Oh, why don't you keep it then? Oh, that's okay. If we need it, I'll come back for it. <laughs> well, good night. Good night, Mrs. Nelson. Good night. And good night. See, what did I tell you? What do you mean? She came over to return the hammer. Well, didn't you notice her dress? Five minutes ago, she was wearing pedal pushers. You mean she changed her dress just for my benefit? Well, she didn't change it for mine. In fact, she didn't even know I was here. Sure she did. I heard her myself. She said, good night, Mrs. Nelson. Well, then tell me this. Why did she come over? To return the hammer. <laughs> I guess she must have forgotten. Wait a minute. I better get it. I should forget again. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Nelson. I forgot the hammer. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. Good night. Well, good night, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> good morning, Mr. Nelson. Oh, hi, Betty. I was just coming down to see you. You need the hammer? No. Mother and I wanted to thank you and Mrs. Nelson for helping us last night. Oh, that's all right. We enjoyed it. We got a little gift for you and your wife. Oh, gee, well, that's very nice of you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, I wanted to. Well, uh, thank you very much. Well, that's okay. Thank you again for being so neighborly. Well, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, I didn't make it down to the mailbox. I ran into Betty, and she gave us this little present for helping him out last night. Well, wasn't that nice? Open it up and see what it is. I can't understand it. We didn't do anything. All I did was hang a couple of pictures and eat some cookies. What is it? It's a can of pipe tobacco. Oh, how nice. For both of us, did you say? <laughs> That's what she said. Gee, it's my favorite brand, too. Do <laughs> you want to know something? Uh, no, I don't. Let's not start that again. I'm starting anything. Now, what about the mail? Do you want to give it another try, or shall I? No, I'll get it. Okay, but scream if you need help. Okay. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi, I'll ride down with you. Oh, okay. What do you have, Dave? Uh, I think I'll have a chocolate malt, Jack. It's coming right up. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, hi, Betty. Would you mind changing seats with me? Sir, would you mind changing seats with me? Yeah, it sure was. Uh, Betty? Oh, yes, Mr. Nelson? Uh, can I see the paper there for a second? Oh, sure. Thank you. Was there something special you'd like to see? Oh, no, I'd better be going, thanks. And, but thank you for letting me watch television with you. Oh, that's okay. Here, don't forget your eggs. Oh, thanks, and I'll return them tomorrow. Oh, there's no hurry. <laughs> well, um, good night. Good night. Good night. It, um, I'm glad you enjoyed your tobacco. Oh, yes, thank you very much. Well... Good night again. Good night. Good night. Well, Counselor, looks like we're alone at last. Yep. I think you ought to tell your girlfriend that you'd like to spend your evenings with your wife. 
Oh, I don't think it'll last too much longer. I don't suppose I could coax you to put that pipe out, could I? It's beginning to smell like the men's club annual smoker in here. Okay. Boy, it sure is beautiful out here. Moon shining. Very romantic. This is the first time we've been alone all evening? Well, I guess maybe I better take advantage of it. Why? <laughs> well, good night, Mr. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson. Good night. change the subject, but how do you figure this girl happened to get a crush on you, Dave? I'm sure I don't know. Well, I don't think that's so hard to understand. Neither do I. Now, now, now wait a second. You girls are prejudiced. You're not allowed to vote. You're disqualified. <laughs> All I'd like to do right now is get off the hook. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you disillusion her? Give her the sloppy husband routine. Sit around the house with an old t-shirt and baggy pants on, dirty tennis shoes, and two or three days growth of beard on your face, and smoking a smelly old cigar. If he does that, he'll lose both of us. Well, whatever you do, be careful not to hurt her feelings. Yeah, uh, don't disillusion her too much. You don't want to cause a big psychological upset. Boy, talk about responsibilities. Well, that's the price you have to pay for being irresistible. Okay. okay. Well, doesn't Betty have any boyfriends? I guess not. She's just moved into the neighborhood. Well, then that's your answer. Get her a boyfriend, somebody her own age. Does anybody know a 15-year-old boy who'd like a date? Don't look at me. I'm 16. And I'm 25. <laughs> Maybe some of the fellows have younger brothers. Yeah, that's a good idea. It wouldn't hurt to look around. Why don't you stop by tomorrow if you get the chance, Dave? Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Well, if he does, don't you introduce him to any co -eds. He has enough women on his hands right now. <laughs> Hello, Rick. This is Dave. Uh, look, the way things have been going, I don't think I'll be dropping by there after all. Well, I just don't think it'll be necessary. I thought the big panic was on. Well, that was yesterday, but it's kind of dying down a little. And she wasn't waiting up for us last night when we got home, and she didn't stop me on the way to work this morning. Yeah, at least for the time being. Uh, hold on a second. What are you doing? It's a secret. Here, you better let me get the other arm, too, in case it isn't the same length. <laughs> Wait a second. It's my arm. What are you doing? Well, it's supposed to be a surprise, but a young lady is knitting a sweater for you, and she has to have your measurements. A young lady? Or her name isn't Betty by any chance, is it? I'm afraid it is. Oh, well, here we go again. Is she on the phone? No, no, she's out in the front office. <laughs> she was also inquiring as to whether you'd had lunch. Oh, great. Uh, Rick? Uh, yeah, look, I I've changed my mind. Now, I'll be over there in about a half an hour. <laughs> Come on, you guys, how about it? She's a real cute little girl, typical teenager. How old is she? Well, you know how it is with girls nowadays. It's kind of hard to tell. From what I understand, she's about 14 going on 22. <laughs> well, she looks much older. Besides, I didn't mean you guys. I just thought maybe somebody might have a younger brother. Don't you have a kid brother, Kent? Yeah, but he's only 10. Is he big for his age? <laughs> Wally, this is serious. Well, in the first place, if the girl's 14, she probably isn't going to be interested in a boy 14. He's right, you know, Dave. I've got a cousin, Susie May. She's 15. She's been married for two years. <laughs> well, nobody's trying to get anybody married. Uh, I'd just like to find some nice young fellow about 17 years old who'd like a date with a cute little girl. If necessary, I'd be willing to finance the project. Well, why didn't you say so? Not you, Wally. You're too old. Even with my round baby face? Come on, baby face. It's your deal. <laughs> yes, sir, will you be staying for lunch? Oh, uh, no thanks. I've eaten. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, wait a second. A uh, pledge? Yes, sir. The kiwi bird flies never converging concentric circles. Uh, uh, no, no, not that. Oh, sorry, sir. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. <laughs> I just want to know your name. Oh, sorry, sir. Sheldon Hubbard Ainsley the third, sir. Good. Uh, how old are you, Sheldon? Sixteen. Oh. Uh, you're kind of young to be in college, aren't you? Oh, yes, sir, but I'm making good grades. Oh, good for you. Uh, look, Sheldon, uh, how would you like to have a date with a very attractive young lady? May I ask how young? Well, uh, let's put it this way. When she gets all dressed up, she's very attractive and very sophisticated. Uh, Sheldon, 
Now look, as your fraternity counselor, why don't you let Mr. Nelson and I discuss this, and then you and I will talk it over a little later. Yes, sir. Uh, Dave. Look, I hate to sound stuffy and unreasonable, but as chairman of the pledge committee, I don't think it's fair of you to take advantage of that young boy and try to force him to go out on a blind date that he obviously... Oh, pardon me, Wally. I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I was just thinking... You know, I remember when I was in school, this time of the year was usually pretty rough, making both ends meet. Uh, financially, that is. Oh, it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> uh, I realize this is probably an awkward time. I mean, I wouldn't want you to misunderstand. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, how about ten? Uh, that'll be fine, Dave. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, we were discussing Sheldon and the blind date. Oh, yeah. Well, now, let's see. Where is he supposed to be and when? Now you're talking. <laughs> Hi. Jeff, sorry I'm late. Oh, that's okay. Betty stopped by. <laughs> that figures. What's she want? Oh, she just wanted to talk to you. She said she'd come by later. Uh, good, because I'd like to have a little talk with her and get this whole thing straightened out. Oh, come on now, Dave. Don't sound so serious. <laughs> I'll tell you this much, it isn't funny anymore. Anyway, I stopped by the fraternity house and arranged to get her a blind date for tonight. A blind date for Betty? Uh, yeah. A real nice kid named Sheldon something. He's about 16 years old and a pledge over at the house. Does he know she's only 14? Well, I, I didn't tell him exactly. I said she was young and attractive and very sophisticated. Sophisticated? Well, yeah, she is for her age. When she gets dressed up. Oh, that's probably Betty now. If you don't mind, I think I'll go hide in the bedroom. Why? Because I'm the cowardly type and I don't want to be around while you have your heart-to-heart -heart talk with Oh, uh, wait a second. Uh, do you think maybe you could explain the situation? Oh, no, you don't. Uh, June? Okay, you're right there. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi, Betty, come on in. Thank you. I'd like to talk to you for a minute if you're not too busy. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, thank you, but I'm expecting my date any minute. Uh, you know about the date? Who told you? I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I must be talking about somebody else. You say you have a date for tonight? Oh, yes, Mr. Nelson. And with the handsomest man you've ever seen. He's 15 years old, but he looks much older. He's very tall and very good looking. Oh, I, I said that, didn't I? <laughs> well, I, uh, I hope he doesn't keep you out too late. Oh, no. We're just going to a show. Mother says I have to be home by 11.30. Do you know something, Mr. Nelson? I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, how long have you known this boy? Not too long. I just met him in school today. I guess you might say it was love at first sight. I dropped my books and he picked them up for me. His name is Clark Pennington. Oh, don't you think that's a wonderful name? Sort of Ivy League. Well, uh, have a good time. Oh, thank you. Oh, and Mr. Nelson, there are an awful lot of things going on at school these days. So if I don't stop by quite so often, I hope you'll understand. Oh, oh, sure. And Mr. Nelson... Just one more thing. I want you to know that I think you're the most wonderful man I've ever met in my whole life. And I hope and pray that someday I'll meet somebody just like you. And he'll ask me to marry him. And we'll live happily ever after. Well, uh, thank you, Betty. That's about the nicest thing anybody's ever said to anybody. Oh, gee, I'd better hurry. and <laughs> Clark will be here any minute. <laughs> well, uh, have a good time. Oh, thank you, Mr. Nelson. That worked out pretty nicely, didn't it? Yeah, she's got a boyfriend. Some kid she met over at school. Yeah, I know, I was listening. You were listening? Of course, what do you expect? I've got a lot of character, but not that much. <laughs> I get it. Oh, hi, Sheldon. Uh, come on in. Thanks, I hope I'm not too early. Well, I said to be here by about 8 o'clock. Well, as a matter of fact, we've got a little situation here. Well, hi. <laughs> You are kidding. She looks about 19 or 20. Oh, hi, Betty. I'm Sheldon Ainsley, your date for tonight. Oh, 